Hi everyone, it's Emily, and today I'm going to be showing you another original design by me. These cute little infinity signs. For this charm, I actually have two different designs. I have this one, which is a little longer, and I have this one, which is a little smaller. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do the longer one, but I will be um, walking you through how to do the smaller one also. So for this charm, you will need your hook and your rainbow loom set up in the staggered configuration, so anyone can make this charm. And you will need rubber bands. And I'm going to be making a green infinity sign instead of these pink ones. So first, since this charm is you're taking a single double, I'm going to put the slip knot rubber band on the loom. So on the first and the middle, you're going to go down with a single rubber band and push it down. Then you're going to take a single, double it, and you go from the middle out to the left. Again, throughout this whole bracelet, you're taking a single and doubling it. And then go from the middle to the right. And this is your options. For the small infinity sign, you're going to go down twice on either side. And for the bigger one, like I am making, you're going to go down three times. So, a single doubled. You're going down once. Single doubled going down twice and if you want to make it the smaller one again you're going to take the single and take it to the center but if you're making the longer one like me go down another time and then you're going to go to the center so th again this is for the longer infinity sign then you're going to take your next color or your same color or whatever you want it's and, um, it depends on what you want. You can make a rainbow one or like a multicolored one or whatever you would like. And again, go down three times. And throughout this whole charm, you're taking a single rubber band and you're doubling it. So once you've gone down three times, again, you're going to go to the center like this. Then again, single doubled, you're going to go out just like you did the beginning on the same peg. And then you're going to take another single double and go out to the right, just like you did in the beginning. And again, you're just going to go down three times for the longer one. If you again want to do the shorter one, just go down twice right here and go to the middle. But I'm making the longer one. I'm sorry, I hit my camera there. I'm going to adjust it. There we go. And again, go to the center, and single doubled, go down three times. And this can be um, a little time consuming because um, doubling your bands um, just takes longer than putting two rubber bands. And if you want to make your thicker, just take two rubber bands instead of a single doubled. But I like the how it is a little tighter like that. So now we're going to put a cap band on our last peg with a single and wrap it around four times. And then we don't want to put any holding bands because then we won't have our hole in the center of our infinity sign. So we're going to go into the cap band and get the top two and bring it out to your right and go back in and get the top to bring it out to your left and loop up your left side first so just going in and getting the bottom two and there shouldn't be anything in the way and when you get to here you're just going to take that one and bring it to the center now you're going to do the other side and again just like you did the left loop up and when you get to here, loop those bands to the center as well. And I'm going to hold my loom sideways for this. So you're going to go in all these rubber bands and get the top two. And they should be going to your right. And go back in and get the last two. And they should be going out to your left. So again, loop up your left side first. 
And again, when you get here, you're going to loop it to the center. And it's just the same thing like you did on the bottom. So now you're going to loop up your right side. Like this. And now you pretty much looped up your infinity sign. And this is a very easy charm to do, by the way. So now you're just going to go in all those rubber bands. And you should have put your slipknot band on there. And you're just going to pull it up. And to make your slip knot, you're just going to go in and get the bottom one and pull it. And then take the uh, other one off. And then pull to make your slip knot. And then you can start taking it off. And take it off very carefully because doubling bands is really tight. And you want it to keep its shape when you take it off. So again, um, if you have a metal hook like me, just... Um, Use the back of it because it um, doesn't stretch out your rubber bands too much and it's just pretty easier to do. Okay, so when you've taken it off, you might have to play around with it to um, get it to be however you would like it. And yeah, this is a very easy charm to do and is great for um, keychains or like basically anything you can put on your keys um, I put my charms on my school ID and that's what I usually do actually and yeah so uh, if you wanted to do the small one um, you just went down twice instead of three times but I made the bigger one so yeah I hope you um like this charm on how to make the infinity I hope you like this tutorial and if you want to hide your charm string, you can, but since these bands are doubled, I'm not really going to bother hiding the charm string. And to make yours flat, just keep um, adjusting it, and you'll uh, it'll eventually take its shape. Just take it, give it a little while when you take it off of your limb. And yeah, I hope you liked this charm. And I know there are other infinity signs uh, on YouTube. But I decided to try one myself, and it turned out pretty well, so I wanted to share it with you guys. And honestly, I kind of like the bigger one better than the smaller one, but if you want a smaller one, you can do that too, but I like the bigger one. So, uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and check out other tutorials on my channel, like my pillow charm, which I can use for my Barbies. Well, not my Barbies, my sister's Barbies. You can use it for that. And um, check out my tutorial on how to do the muffin. And I do have another charm that I recently came up with. And if you want me to do a video on it, just let me know. I made this little bear. And it's actually based off of Little Bear, that um, TV show for little kids. Um, like it's on Nick Jr. or something. And I used to watch it all the time when I was little. And yeah, it's based off of him. So if you want me to do the little bear, um, just let me know in the comments. Um, he's pretty easy, and he actually has a little tail, and he actually can um, sit for you. Like, he sits. And he's so cute. I love him. So I hope um, you guys actually want me to do a tutorial on him because I just love him. He's so cute. Um, yeah, so just let me know if you want a tutorial on little bear. And I have another charm, this bell. If, uh, I'll probably be doing a tutorial on that too, let me know. And I have this pineapple that I had a request for. It's pretty easy. And yeah, I know there's another video on how to do a pineapple, but this one is my original design. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you see anything that I haven't posted a tutorial on in this video, like Little Bear, the Pineapple, and the Bell, just let me know, and I'll try to do a tutorial on it. I love having suggestions from you guys. So if you have any suggestions, just let me know in the comments below. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and happy looming, everyone.